Hey friends, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nas. If you guys are new here, we talk about all things lifestyle, beauty, and fashion, and we get into some creator chats. But today's video, girl, we're talking about all of the fashions. At least we're talking about the fashions that are new in my closet. So if you're interested in seeing some of the things that I picked up, okay, recently, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, I got my little checklist right here. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone because look, I'm trying to keep track and make sure that I hit all of the things that I ended up picking up so I can share them with y'all just in case y'all interested. I feel like this is the first video that I've done like this. So you're going to have to let me know after you watch it. If you want to see more videos like this, whether it's just something new in my closet, new in the beauty room, because y'all know I be getting tons of PR and I get and I also buy tons of beauty products as well um, new perfumes all of those things let me know girl and I'll make those videos for you as well but because New York Fashion Week just passed and I did a little bit of shopping I wanted to make sure that I shared some of the pieces that I wore while I was there but also wanted to share some of the things that I just picked up for fall all right jumping right into the video I want to start with my newly order y'all know I absolutely love newly okay and I tried to make it work for me for New York Fashion Week. So I ended up grabbing a few pieces from Newly. I didn't do too much. Normally I'll end up getting more than the six that they allocate for the month, but I just got my six. I just got my six, I kept it cute. Now this wasn't like a in love Newly order like some of the ones have been in the past, but I did grab some pieces that I wanted to share with you guys. And then one piece that I actually ended up keeping because it's just such a good dress. Let's start with that one, okay? We're gonna start with this black and white dress. It is absolutely stunning. I feel like it screams, literally the trend that was going on with the drop waist and just the really form-fitted bodice the shoulders like, it's a really trendy piece however I feel like it's such a transitional piece that I could also wear this in the fall I can wear this in the winter like this is a beautiful holiday dress tell me this ain't a beautiful holiday dress with the tights and a pump I think a red pump with this would eat devour so good and even like a more sheer tight i know i didn't do a sheer one but a more sheer more sheer than this would absolutely be stunning as well now this dress like i said is from newly this is the drop waist off the shoulder mini dress from a Whaley. hopefully i'm saying it right girl okay she retails for 222 dollars or no excuse me 220 dollars but if i were to buy it i would get 24 percent off but i got the discount of 24 percent, so it brought it at 167.20 now i feel like it is definitely worth it it was brand new it still had the tag on it um and it didn't look like it was worn at all like it was in pristine condition i'm pretty sure this was a brand new piece like no one ever wore this um the fit i love the way that it fits it feels it's very heavy so the material is there okay so i definitely feel like it was worth it i know she's a bit pricey she's a bit pricey typically i would be like uh girl let me rent this again but i really fell in love with it and i think this is just a really good addition to add to my closet for the upcoming fall and winter season the next piece that i got from newly is this black bubble sleeve crochet top i absolutely love this I really love this top so much. I think I'm gonna rent it again to give it another try. I ended up getting a size large. Um, the reviews did say that it ran big. So I was like, well, if I get a size large, typically I would get like an extra large and tops and stuff like that. Um, but I got a, a large, so I was like, okay, maybe it won't be that big. Now, I do not think that it is super big, but compared to what it looks like on the model and compared to like what it looks like on me, I feel like I would have liked the waist to be a little bit more cinched in. Um, at least that's what it's giving. I feel like it's just a little too boxy on the bottom i do like it with the baggy jeans like how i styled it i think it's a really nice top regardless um and if it wasn't as much as it is i probably would have kept it but i think i do want to try it one more time and try a medium because it is an oversized top i really like the sleeves on it i think it's just a fun top for the fall to have in your wardrobe i think you could wear this with a skirt you can definitely tuck it inside of a skirt i think that would be really cute you can obviously wear it with jeans straight legs would also be really cute a maxi skirt would be nice so there's a few different ways i planned on styling this i did bring it to new york fashion week but i didn't end up wearing it but that's okay it was literally because of the the fit of it and it just felt like I was being swallowed in it especially with the hairstyle that I had I was just like no we we can't do this and the pants that I wanted to wear this with were also on the bigger side look girl I clearly don't know my sizes okay this was originally $250 like girl girl so much if i were to buy it it would have been 17 percent off bringing it to 207 and i still feel like that is a lot of money and i 
if i recall i feel like this didn't have a tag on it at least it was removed so i'm pretty sure that this piece was also worn getting the next piece i ended up getting from newly is this beautiful geisha top um, i believe that's the name of the brand um it's called geisha geisha designs i got this in a large um this top was 248 dollars if i were to buy it it'd be 21 percent off bringing it to 195 it's i just got so many compliments on the shirt i really feel like i should have did it justice i did not take no pictures in it I don't know what's wrong. Well, I do know what's wrong. I was very like, I was not feeling my hair because this was the last day of fashion week and I just was over it at that point. Not over it like in the, the things that were happening, like the experiences and just being out. I, I was over the getting ready, if I'm being honest with you. Doing all that stuff on your own, whoo cha. I get why the girls got teams, okay? And the wig, she was on her last leg, honey. So I was literally over that hair. I was just over the entire thing, but I was like, I'm gonna push through, put on this cute top, loved it. I got so many compliments on it because it really is a fun and gorgeous and stunning top. Um, I did get a large. I wish I got an extra large. Now they said that the top runs big. This is where it runs big. It runs big in the sleeves. So it was like, it, was, it wasn't extremely tight, but it was like, ugh, it was snug, but it wasn't like uncomfortable tight or anything like that. So that's why I say when they say it runs large, mm, it runs large in the sleeves. The sleeves were not as fitted as they are on the model. As you see, is very fitted on her arms. It wasn't that. It was giving this. It was not as loose as this, but it was giving, it was loose. Okay. It was loose. So um and i feel like for the the amount like this top is 248 dollars like girl could it be a little bit more tailored so i did not purchase this i don't want it but i do think it's a beautiful design and i feel like now i know about this brand I, i'm definitely going to be checking this brand out more when i am ordering from newly now if i were to get this it would have been 21 percent off leaving that at 195. another piece that i ended up getting that i really really loved was this blazer i also got tons of compliments on this as well this blazer is from it's the patchwork relax blazer from riley vintage and that's what it gives it literally gives a vintage old dad blazer that was reworked and patched up um i got this in a size oh let me see i ended up getting this in a size extra large which i think fit pretty good i probably would have done a large just because i wanted it to fit just a little like a little better it, it, like when i would button it it would come on loose it was a it was looser than i wanted it to be um but overall i do like how i styled it this blazer is 380 380 if i did buy it it would have been 25 percent off bringing it to 285 i really do like the blazer but i do feel like this is something that i could create on my own if i go to the vintage store and go give me some little patches okay give me some little patches from etsy or amazon or somewhere and find me a little blazer at the vintage store maybe maybe i can make this okay for 30 dollars, not 300 but it was nice to wear it was nice to experience the blazer itself was really really nice so i did enjoy this piece from this order but i did not move forward with it um and then i paired it with this skirt which is also from newly this is the asymmetrical pleated skirt from marmar or mare mare um this was 138 dollars I would have bought if I would have bought it would have been 27% off at $100.74 I did not buy it but this is such a fun skirt I love how I like the asymmetrical part of it um it was nicely high-waisted the color was really pretty I, I love green so I really love the color and I love how I played up the plaid on both the blazer and the skirt by pairing these two together I just really like this look it was really cute but um, I do feel like the skirt was worn quite a bit. Would not purchase it for $100. Maybe maybe $20 because then I feel like I, you know, got it from a thrift store or something. But $100 is crazy, okay? And she was definitely, definitely worn. And the last piece that I got was the Soundwave Maxi Dress. This is from Free People. Um, and I ended up getting this in an extra large. I feel like the sizing on this was a bit wonky. Um, I feel like if it nicely in my midsection and some areas it was even a little tighter however 
the top part, one, it looked like it was extremely worn or like washed a lot, a lot of times or something like that because the material was just doing something weird, doing something funky as you can see here. Um, but also the, the, I didn't show you guys the back. I don't know why I was looking through the footage. I was like, I didn't turn around, I didn't turn around, but the back was really loose and the top was really loose. So then it was weird in the breast area. So the idea of this dress is stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, I love it down but um it was a weird fit it was a very weird fit i really like how she has a style with these boots i was like oh this is gonna eat i can wear this with like a turtleneck or like a mesh top underneath for fall i was thinking of all the different ways i could style this but um yeah i wasn't crazy about this so i ended up returning this so yeah uh, this is like one of those pieces that you literally have to go into the store for and try it on because ordering it you just you just don't know girl you just don't know so yeah those are all of my newly so yeah those are all of my newly orders i'm actually going to place another newly order after this video because today is my day to renew my newly order so i will definitely keep you guys posted on what i end up picking up i'm having a ball with newly if you cannot tell especially for like events or weddings and stuff like that you already know how i get down i have a whole newly video okay if you want to know my my thoughts on newly and if it's worth it or not i say yes but also go check out that I'm video gonna jump into some of my zara finds which really just it's really two items <laughs> over the past i haven't bought anything like fall fall from zara yet but i did end up grabbing these white cute little flats these ballet flats they almost remind me of those y'all remember or i don't know what they what you call them where you're from but we used to call these shoes white girls so they remind me of like some little ballet slipper white girls and i just thought they were the cutest little thing they have the little gum bottom they're so cute so i ended up wearing these to the u.s open and i've been wearing them with jeans i've been wearing them to travel i think they're just such a cute comfortable shoe they're very comfortable believe it or not very comfortable but such a cute shoe so i ended up grabbing these from zara um like right before i went to the u.s open so I really like these and in that order also I grabbed these red little kitten heels. If you're new here, girl, I love me a kitten heel, okay? I am dubbed the, okay? I, I've dubbed myself the queen of the kitten because baby, I just don't got time. I have no time, no desire for anything above three inches. I'm barely reaching for a three inch heel. And if I am, we better be going to dinner, okay? Sitting down, in the car, out the car, at a table, okay? <laughs> cannot wait to style these i haven't worn them yet i did bring them with me the fashion week but i didn't end up wearing them but i think they're beautiful i really like these shoes i just wanted to share these with you guys because they were recent pickups um i didn't go crazy at zara not yet because y'all know zara become with the fall pieces so when i do i'll be back here showing y'all what i picked up and those Next. are on the docket we have h&m i think majority of the things in this video are actually from h&m so let's just get right into it all right so, starting with the denim jacket i brought the denim jacket with me to new york um and i styled it with these uh i think i call them jorts but i think on the h&m site they're bermuda shorts or long shorts um and i originally planned on wearing it as a dress with boots which i'm pretty sure i will do that sometime this fall season but i ended up wearing it with shorts there and i really like the way that this looked with my little boots like come on girl it was a whole vibe now this does it does i think it says oversized on the website but i ended up getting a large extra large because y'all y'all know the my sizes but i should have known better i literally was drowning drowning in it so i ended up returning that and i got the medium large option i, I believe it's, it's something like that medium large um and i really like the way that this fits and it's still even if i want to wear it as a dress it would still hit right under when like it's still a good length is what i'm saying it'll cover my butt it'll cover up some thighs and i can still wear like a thigh high boot and still get a really cute look out of this top jacket jacket situation and i love the color on this it's almost like that chambray type of um material or look they have a lighter color one and they also had a dark denim one i, I feel like i have enough dark denim jacket shirt type vibes so i ended up going with this 
wash this wash here I, I really like it it's almost like a vintage type of wash so I really like this and it goes with a lot of stuff that I already have in my closet so I'm really excited about this piece for ball the next piece I will it's like a two for one this is the suit that I wore while I was in New York oh my gosh y'all I absolutely love this suit I'm actually going to go get the jacket or the blazer taken in because I want to hopefully they're able to like cinch in the waist a little bit because I want it to kind of like flare out out. so I'm excited about that but as soon as I saw this on the model on the site I said yes I need the blazer and I need the pants because you are coming with me to New York Fashion Week it's white and it's uh pinstripe but the pinstripes are cream it's like a beige color so I thought that was different um typically I feel like I see like either white and black or like black and white um but this cream version oh it just it spoke to me girl it spoke to me and it did what it needed to do for new york fashion week i love the oversized look i believe i got the blazer in a large and in the pants i ended up getting a large as well yep i got a large in both and i really like the oversized feel i wore them with my pointed toe uh zara heels also a little kitten okay a little kitten mule and i think it literally brought the look all together I'm definitely gonna be getting more wear out of this suit for sure, especially after I get it tailored to my body. Okay, tailored to my body, like cinch me in just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. I think they still have this up on the site. And of course, whatever I can find, y'all know it's gonna be linked in the description. So if you're interested in this look, make sure that you look in the description, okay girl? Don't be asking me in the comments, where did I get it? I just told you, H&M. Look in the description. <laughs> I really, that is one thing that I really want to invest in more this year. I really want more suits. Like I feel like your girl's going places, she's doing things. And that is honestly probably my preferred um, outfit of choice when going to like events and stuff like that. I love a good tailored suit set. I love a blazer, I, as you can see. <laughs> I love me a blazer girl, especially in the fall season, girl, what? So if you have any like recommendations for um, really good women suits or nice tailored suit options, go ahead and leave them in the comments for me, girl, because I'm gonna be looking, I'm gonna be looking. Another piece that I got from H&M is this nice chocolate burgundy. I, I can't, in person, it looks like burgundy. On my screen, it looks chocolate. But y'all know this infamous set that has all the girls talking girl it has all of the girls talking i was able to get my hands on it i did get mine too too big y'all can't tell in this video but it's extremely big i ended up pinning it in the back that is also going to the tailors along with that jacket that i'm going to send there so i can get that form fitted to my body but i am happy that i got it nonetheless because this is going to eat during the fall are you kidding me are you kidding me i feel like it gives like a luxe look for less like yes it's on the cheaper side but it still gives very much high fashion like high fall fashion at that so I was very excited to get my hands on this piece I love that I'm able to style it so many different ways yes it didn't come together however y'all know I'm gonna be mixing and matching I'm gonna be putting different tops with the bottom and different bottoms with the top okay so and then of course wearing it together as one set just it it's everything it's absolutely everything hopefully they restock it if not i'm gonna go ahead and put the link down below so you can at least be notified when they do restock another piece that i also got from this collection i believe it's called h&m edition or h and h m it's h and something i'll have it linked for you guys but um also from this collection i got the a-line skirt it's like the a-line maxi skirt it's like the leather like type of vibe girl tell me this skirt ain't cute tell me this is not the cutest skirt i absolutely love this i ended up getting this in a size 14. um i i hope when i go back to h m because they had a bunch at my h m i hope that they have a 12 because i do need to size down if not i will also be taking this to the tailor as well i did not plan on getting all this stuff tailored but because i like the item so much i do want to get them form fitted to my body and i don't want to have to always like pin them and you know do stuff like that so um and these are really good pieces i feel like i can have them for a while so i don't mind investing in getting them tailored to my body but this skirt is absolutely beautiful i haven't seen a lot of people talking about this or like styling it 
as far as like the new H&M drop goes. Hopefully when I post it, it gives the girls some inspiration on like how to style these type of skirts throughout fall because I absolutely love this and I already have so many different ways that I want to style it. So stay tuned for that. But this is definitely one of my favorite pickups from my H&M order. Another leather like piece I ended up grabbing was this dress. Now I'm actually not crazy about this dress. Um, I, I think this was on sale if I, do recall it was originally like 20 something dollars and then at my store at least because it was written in pen it was like 15 dollars. so i was like why not why not and i when i tried it on i tried it on with jeans so i actually liked how i like kind of had it styled with like a long sleeve shirt and i had my jeans on it, it looked really cute i'll have to style it for you guys so you can see it um this way is cute also of course i would probably put some tights on with it um put on like a little boot or something like that i think it's a fun piece now did i absolutely need it no but because it was only 15 dollars, i thought it would be a nice cute simple staple piece that i can have in my closet for fall it's like one of those throw on pieces um to to elevate a look or to look put together depending on like where we're going maybe we're going to eat or to the mall or somewhere where i don't want to put you know leggings on <laughs> Or even I could put leggings on and some cute boots and this over it. So there's a few different ways I can style this for sure. I don't think it was like a must have. It wasn't a need for me, but because it was cheap, girl i threw it in the bag the piece that i got from this collection were the shorts um now on the model they have it styled with the shorts and the jacket i already have a jacket that's similar i already had a jacket that was similar so i did not pick up the jacket but now i'm kind of like oh it's similar but it ain't the same the jacket that I have is from Banana Republic and I got that right at the end of winter. So I haven't even had the chance to really wear it. Um, but I knew that I had a similar jacket, so I did not want to purchase that one. But when I got the shorts, I'm like, oh, I should have gotten the jacket, but they're too similar. You know what I mean? Like they're too similar to like have the same. They're, they're, they're too similar, but they're very different. I get it. Someone's going to say that. I, I get it. I get it, girl. I did, I did try to style it as similar as possible. Like they did in the marketing pictures and stuff like that, but whatever, like it is what it is. The shorts are very much still cute. Okay. I got the shorts in a size 14. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these as well with the tights and all of the things. It's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Okay. Another piece I ended up grabbing for New York Fashion Week, um, which actually came in clutch because when we think of New York Fashion Week, like, yes, we want to have the looks. We want to think we're thinking about events. We're thinking about shows and stuff like that. But um, I also kept in mind that there may be down days or just days where I just want to go shop or walk around. Um, and I'm not going to want to do that in like a full on look. I don't know about you. I know some girls be putting it on every second of the day, but that was not me. OK, so I <laughs> wanted something very casual. Um, but still very much put together that wasn't like leggings and a hoodie um, so I grabbed this cream and black set from H&M and I thought it was so cute and I also feel like again this is another nice piece that I can wear throughout fall also winter it's just who doesn't like a two-piece set okay clearly I did buy them separately but I like them together as a set I think it's just a nice elevated casual look um, you can pair them with a the pump if you want it to if you want it to like dress it up but you can wear this with a sneaker you can wear it with a flat you can wear this with a mule I think it would just be like slides I think it's just a nice simple little look a shopping look go to lunch something like that I think it's really cute okay so I got it and I'm showing it to y'all and you need to get it too I want to actually get more sets like this so I'm going to be on the hunt for those as well because I think it's just easy to just have a two-piece set like I've always I've actually never been like a set girl. You know how people are like, you know, I'm such a set girl. Um, yeah, that's never been me, okay? But I think as I'm getting older and to make not so many decisions when it comes to getting dressed, sets work, sets work. So I wanna find more fall winter friendly sets that aren't sweatpants or leggings something more cute and casual elevated like this so i definitely will be on the lookout for those as well i love this down and the last jacket that i ended up grabbing from h&m is this cropped trench type of vibe now i have one like this actually it's more like a cream color but this green i don't have a green jacket like this at all now i do think i might go take it back this is in a size large um i think i want a medium i just feel like the back looks a bit big i don't know i might because i know with fall and winter i'll be wearing like 
thicker clothes so maybe it might make sense i think i just want to try the medium on so yeah i ended up getting this in a large i really like it i think it's cute it's gonna be bomb with jeans honestly i probably would like wear it with jeans or even like a satin dress i think would be so cute with some boots girl all right the last category is just kind of like a mix of different things that i ended up grabbing from various stores so starting with boohoo this leopard dress y'all y'all know leopard is in okay talk about the trends leopard is in girl and i absolutely love this dress i ended up bringing this for fashion week did i wear it no i didn't but i'm definitely going to be wearing her somewhere okay she will be seen now okay i have to be honest i'm not completely in love with the dress how it is i did end up kind of tearing <laughs> the split to make the hem a little bit more like almost like a top i don't know if i'll ever wear this as just a dress alone but i like the idea of having like shorts underneath it or even i thought of like some leather pleather style like leggings for the fall would be really nice um jeans obviously like long denim how i have it styled here but um i i really like the idea of it being a top and also i do not care for the pink part that's on the belt like in the center of the belt such a small detail right i know such a small detail but i think i am gonna paint it myself <laughs> either like a nice rich burgundy color or um like a brown a deep brown color not black but like something in that family category just because the pink is like bothering me so much like i keep looking at it every time i like look at it or pick it up or try it on i'm like why did y'all do this but it is boohoo i gotta keep that in mind it is boohoo okay another fun piece i ended up grabbing now i typically would not reach for this i have no desire for a long maxi button-up shirt dress i just yeah i just didn't <laughs> um but i i stand corrected i feel like this is so cute i first seen taylor um style this multiple different ways not this specific dress but a, a dress that was similar and i was like you know what i think i want to try that and i think it's so fun i think it's a really nice piece to have in your closet because you can wear it so many different ways you can wear it as is by itself but you could wear it with a little sweater you could wear it with a jacket you could wear it open you can wear it closed there's so many different ways and so many different outfits that you can get out of something like this and she definitely opened up my mind to trying something differently because i never would have I, I, I would not reach for this okay but i'm glad that i did because it's such a cute piece and i like the color as well i would like to try to find like one more like a brown one with like thicker thicker lines or thicker stripes but as for now i think this one is cute i'm not gonna go crazy and ham on the button down maxi dresses but i am glad that i grabbed this one and this is from banana republic i believe this is still on sale to banana republic is having a crazy sale girl okay i i think this dress was like 130 dollars i ended up getting it for 40 um they have tons of dresses on sale right now denim's on sale they they having a sale sale okay i'll go ahead and link it below but y'all need to check banana republic out because they're doing their big one over there i cannot make this video and not talk about my boots my recent boots that i ended up grabbing from steve madden for fashion week the cowgirl boots from steve madden they are so good y'all i went back and forth on the style of boot that i wanted because this style i think it's like the lasso boot something child but they have i want to say four to five different styles of this boot different variations not specifically this style with like the buckle and everything but the cowgirl boot itself and i just was conflicted but this like natural patina type of vintage look won me over and i like the belt believe it or not the little buckle part i like it like i don't feel like it's gaudy i don't mind the color the turquoise color like it really gives western vibes and that's what i wanted and i I love these boots, okay? I'm so happy that I got these. Like, I can't wait to style them more because I look, I have been wearing them, okay? I've been wearing these boots. They're so comfortable with those boots and a cute little jacket. Ooh, my leather jacket. Ooh, or denim. Mm. Oh, I'm excited, girl. I'm so happy I got these boots. I have a few different boots for the season, but these were definitely needed for sure. It's been a minute since I bought boots. I feel like when you buy boots, like you have boots for a really long time and these boots these boots was made for walking girl okay another pair of boots that i ended up getting these were actually gifted to me for a campaign i did a stitch fix campaign um with stitch fix 
Well, if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, they have a variety of different brands that they carry. These boots are actually Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita or Dolce Vita. This is my first time purchasing, or I didn't purchase them, but first time having a pair of boots from Dolce Vita, Vita or shoes in general. Um, and I thought these were really cute. I got to pick out a few different things and I don't have a boot like this and it gives me kind of like, the Timberland Hill <laughs> boot, especially for like a fall winery type of vibe, um, a lunch date, just, um, and it's not like a flat, flat boot. It has like a heel on it, you know? So it's definitely giving a little elevated, a little elevated, a little, fun girl boot for sure. So the color is definitely different for me. I typically would stick to like darker colors, but I wanted to pick this boot for that specific reason because I don't have anything like it or in that color. So it should be fun. I feel like I'll be challenged a little bit to try to style them, you know, really cute, but we gonna get it together. And lastly, y'all, my new favorite bag from Anthropology. Y'all, I am obsessed with this bag. Y'all know the Brooklyn bag that is at Coach. It's going crazy. Like the girls on TikTok are tearing it up, okay? You can't find it. They being sold out. They come back in stock. They getting sold out. Like everybody is going crazy over the Brooklyn bag. Rightly so. Like the hobo bags, the slouchy bags, the big bags are back. And I, for one, love that because I be carrying a lot of stuff. So I'm all here for it. However, what I'm not here for is spending money that I shouldn't be spending. So instead of spending $500 on a bag, I just spent a hundred. A hundred. That's it. A hundred girl math okay and also i would like to add it comes with a very cute leather pouch okay as well same material as the bag like come on now this bag is everything and the gold little detail on it so cute it has a little button so you can clasp it close i love the functioning pouch so i can keep my things in it i the way that i wore this bag through fashion week i have my makeup touch up stuff in the pouch bag have my other stuff my cameras and everything i had so much stuff and it did not feel like i was carrying like uh, so much stuff because it just felt really comfortable on the shoulder it wasn't heavy or weighed down i just love this bag i love big bags okay now the brown the brown is getting sold out i've posted it a few times the girls are running and getting it now they have it back ordered until november y'all see what i did do you see what you did I'm gonna go ahead and still post it. And I'll also post some similar ones that I've been finding and some that are actually on my on my list that I might wanna pick up too. Look, I, I literally, I am a slouchy bag girl to the core. So I'm gonna link some of the ones that I've been finding. That way you can get your hands on some of them. But I love this bag. She's literally like my new favorite. She's like my just, my everything bag. Like girl, we going to the gym, okay. Girl, we going to get lunch, okay. Girl, we going to Target, okay. Like everything's in here. My life is in here everything i don't need nothing else it's such a good bag i am so happy that i stumbled across it i knew that i needed it as soon as i saw it just in case they were able to rev up production and get it pushed up and not have us wait till november of course girl i got you i'm gonna link it but they do have other colors that i suggested you check out as well i'm thinking of getting the red one i have one but i don't got one like this though You know what I mean? It's almost like my jacket situation. Yeah, they the same, but they not. All right, friends, that is it. I hope this video wasn't too long, okay? But I do hope that you enjoyed it. Look, your girl's gonna be doing a little bit more shopping. Also, a lot more cleaning out too. That needs to be a video in itself. We need to clean that classic girl. We need to clean it up. But um, as pieces continues to come in, you know I got you, girl. I'm gonna be showing you some of the things that I'm picking up throughout this fall and winter season. I'm so excited. Like, this is my favorite season, girl, as is for a lot of us. If you know, you know my excitement right now. I'm just so excited for fall and to just tap into all things fall, girl. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let the girls know that you enjoy it over here. Here, it tells me that you enjoy these type of videos so I should keep making them and it lets other people know that you know Nas is not so bad I like it over here <laughs> and you do like it over here I know you do as always whatever I can find girl it's gonna be linked in the description I got you okay I promise I will not drop the ball until next time girlfriends I will see you guys in my next video